Hey guys, this is Dennis. And you're watching Nerve You. It's me again, another video. Uh, I got the Gabba Revolver today, sort of like a mail haul video. I got it from a friend of mine that I recently started talking to on Instagram, at NM Toys. Uh, the link will be in the description. Uh, he posts amazing pictures of Sentai Power Rangers, just nice action figure shots. Apparently he's got the hookup of Sentai Toys which I didn't know until he commented saying, hey, I'll hook you up with a Gabba Revolver. I was like, okay. So, here it is. It is used. I got a really good deal on it, though. Make sure it's off for noises. Uh, it came with the revolver and my choice of a Zidenshi. And, of course, I got Gabba Terras, Charger number one, Key of the Red, Daigo's personal little... Dinosaur buddy, if you will. I just love how these have like a nice sparkle effect, which we didn't get for the Dino Charge Wave 1 uh, chargers, but the Wave 2 chargers have the nice shiny metallic back. So I don't know why we get one set without the sparkle and then next set with sparkle, but at least we're getting the sparkle. And plus this is just insanely fun to do. But I do love the American uh, Chargers, which I'll grab right here, where we get the four part, where it's like, it's uncharged, it's kind of charging, charged up, and then halfway uncharged, back up. And you just cycle through, like it's actually cycling through a charge up, which is pretty cool. But, I mean, you can't go wrong with show accurate, unsparkle, sparkle. I'll do a little quick sounds. Before I do anything else, I will do a comparison to the Dino Charge Morpher and my thoughts on the two, which if you follow my Instagram, you know my thoughts on each one. But if you're not following, well, here you go. Also, follow my Instagram because I do a lot more uh, in-depth stuff usually. You know, long description, nice picture. But turn on, and there's the nice little roar and activation noise. Now, the Geb Revolver has two slots, bottom, top. This one is for the main charger slash change. And the top one is for the ultimate uh, finisher move. So we'll go ahead and Braven. Load up. Which, this brings me back to last month of me watching Gear Ranger. Because it's been like a month and a half. And that's, I love Gabby Ranger. So, like most of you know, spin the barrel. And you get the amazing Samba music and the whole transformation. Dinosaur coming out, behind you, hit, and now I'm cure red. Also... Um, I'm still trying to figure out the sounds because I didn't, it didn't come with a box or a manual, which I couldn't read anyway because it's Japanese. But I know it has the change, and then also you've got the finisher. And that's the second sound. I don't know how to do armed on. I thought maybe if I get like a second uh, Gabutura Zadinchi and put it up top and then load it it might do armed on because right now the only ones I hear is Gabarincho, Gabatira and then Vamala Kaboom so I only have the one Zeodenshi here so I can't really do any more noises but I'll show you what it does if you load up the Zeodenshi up top because two slots if you load the same one up top makes that noise and then close it, that's all it does. And then makes that noise. Spinning does nothing with one Zidenshi up top.
Oop. So if you haven't figured out the release buttons for the bottom Zidinchi is here. And then the top Zidinchi, where is it? Yeah, right here. You just press down. So top, bottom. And then you have the on-off switch here. You have the trigger. And then this button right here, I think it's for lowering up and down, but I can do it either way. But this one's kind of like stepper. If you press it down, you can see the tail move. So I think you're supposed to do that. So lower, and then you got trigger, spin barrel, and then you got Zidinji. So that's basically all it does with only one Zidinji. So I'm definitely getting more. I have to get uh, Angliadon's charger because Kiro Sign is my favorite Kiroger, which I'm still not saying right. And I practiced all day after the last video I did, but I'm brave. So put this aside, and I'll bring out my Dino Charge Morpher and bring out my T-Rex charger too. And I. Of course, as you can tell, it's smaller than Gap Revolver by a good bit. Like, you can probably fit this and Yeah, you can fit inside, and it probably don't even know what's in there. But, besides the fact, and the fact that this isn't the normal, you know, out of box charger or down charger morpher, this is my painted one, my battle damaged one. So, I can't really show you what it looks like out of box, but I'm sure by now you've seen it. And of course, you gotta turn it on. Activation noise and charge in. I meant brave and not charge in. Either way, load up. And of course, there's your Gabarinchu Gabatira uh, substitution. Spin the barrel. No awesome samba, just this cool little energy effect, and then of course press it. Unleash the power. That's a oh. power Are you done? Okay. That of course is the crew change fire, and then you know the final pose. Q red, the fanged hero. I should know this. I'm going with fanged. That's probably not fanged. Correct me below in the comments, because right now I have no idea if I'm right or wrong. But, you know, turn off so I don't have the noises. Well, of course with this you got the shoot noise. Three sounds. The doo doo doo. Two, three with the kind of roar. And that's all it does with the charger, because unlike the Gabber revolver, it only has the one slot. So we don't get the cool dual chargers like Gabatera and Alumaris or using combination. Okay, stop talking, dude. Now, of course, you know, everybody wants to see these two together. And they want to tear this one apart because it's not this. And, I mean, if you want to do that, that's fine. I mean, that your stuff, if you want to, you know, make fun of one of the other, that's your stuff. But I think these are two different toys because they're for two different shows. Super Sentai, Power Rangers. And, of course, different price points, uh, different audiences, all that different stuff. Uh, this is meant for... I want to say Sentai is meant for anybody to watch, as the Power Rangers is dedicated to little kids mostly. As why it's smaller and lack of paint, because kids don't really notice that. Like when I was watching Power Rangers growing up, I never realized that the Megazord had Thunderbolts until like mid 2000s when I saw a picture and I was like. I didn't have Thunderbolts. Why did you have Thunderbolts? And then I was like, oh, wow, there's a difference. So that doesn't mean anything to a little kid about show accurate stuff. Also, this is a big, big item. 
So I don't think little kids can handle this properly because, you know, my full adult size hand, you know, it fits it perfectly. Like this was made for like a big hand. And my little charger here, like I fit it, but my finger wants to go over here and not on the trigger because this just feels weird. This feels much better. But I can see how this can be too big for kids over here. as why most of the imports are for the adult collectors. And if you want to spend, you know, a lot of money to get import toys, go for it. That's your thing. That's awesome. I got some of the Takuja toys um, the last month or so. But I got them for really cheap off Amazon. Like my uh, Toku Changer was $25 shipped. So two days off Amazon Prime to get here from some warehouse. And I got, you know, a lot of the stuff for under 40 bucks. Like I think the most expensive I spent was 48 and that was for uh, Safari Gaio. So, I mean, I got them super cheap, but a year after the show ended is when I picked up the Tokuja stuff. And this on Amazon... Brand new was like 150 last time I checked, and if you got 150 to blow on it, do it because I've spent more money on probably stupider things over the years, collecting. But I don't, I don't see a reason to, you know, diss this because this is better. I mean, this has Japanese sounds, so if you get it for a kid or, you know, they're not gonna understand a word. This says everything the show says, so this is more show accurate than this. In terms of sound. Looks wise, yes, this looks like the one that they have in the show because it's the same size. But even this isn't show accurate because the show is silver with metallic red. And I'm sure there's a few little touches here that aren't like, um, that's in the show. And this, even though it's, I started to paint it so accurate, I kind of made my own twist and made it battle damaged. Because if you're going to paint your stuff, paint the stuff how you want. If you want to make a show accurate, do it. That's what I started to, and then I started making my own stuff. And everybody was, last week, I got a few comments from people saying, you know, I should just invest my money in the Japanese style toys. Don't waste my money painting the American. Well, if I went retail, that was 150 plus another 30 bucks shipped from Japan. This cost me 29.99 and four dollars worth of paint pens. So I don't see how this is a bad deal at all. Now don't get me wrong, I absolutely love the Gab Revolver, and this makes makes me really happy to have. But did I need it to be happy? No. Am I happy? Yes. Yes, I am. I really am. This thing's amazing. I'm not trying to bash the Japanese toys. I just don't see a reason comparing the two different toys, really. I mean, if you want to do it, like I said, do it. That's your thing. You like comparing the two? Compare them. I don't like comparing these because they're two different toys. This one's made for American kids. This one's made for Japanese kids. And... American adult collectors, I guess. But, I mean, really, you can't compare them. I don't think you can. I'm sure you can argue the exact opposite. But, I'm going to end the video here. I'm kind of rambling on. But, I lost my train of thought here. If you like it, you want it, I definitely think you should go buy one. I mean, you can probably get them used off eBay. And if you talk to people on Instagram, I'm sure someone has one for sale that you can trade. So if you have to have it, there's ways to get it. But if you don't want to spend the money and you don't think the dental charge morpher is worth the money, it's definitely worth the money. Especially if you like if you watch Dino Charge. If you don't watch Power Rangers at all, then I don't see a reason buying these. Unless you just want a cheap alternative to Sentai toys, then these are definitely the way to go. But if you love Sentai and you have no idea Power Rangers existed, then yeah, of course, you've got to get the Gabba Revolver. But, it's up to you, you know. 
nerdiness will always rule out, um, you know, rational thoughts. Like, I mean, which one would you buy? Answer below, which one would you rather have? Gabber Revolver? Downcharge Morpher. Answer below. Goodbye.